Assalamu alaikum guys. Today in this practical video, I will guide you for some common mistakes in the construction of this RCC slab. Guys, you can see clearly. I will guide you for some common mistakes, especially for lapping length, stirrup spacing, and something more. So let's get started, guys. You can see, guys, this is one column and this is the other column. So now you will see, guys, the stirrup spacing, which is wrong. This is not according to the structural drawing because these people are not follow the structural drawing. They don't have the side supervisor. So therefore, they did a lot of mistakes in the construction of this slab. Guys, you can see the lapping. Lapping is provided on the top of the beam. So this is the big mistake in the construction of this slab. Because this is the place to provide bent up bar or extra bars. Instead of bent up bar and extra bars to resist negative bending moment, they provided lapping length. Guys, you can see in this slab construction, you will find anywhere lapping length. Look here, guys. The spacing of main bars, distribution bars, spacing is 8 by 8 inches. So for normal residential building, the spacing of the main bars and distribution bars should not be more than 6 by 6 inches. But this is commercial building. So unfortunately, these people are not following the structural drawing. They don't have the structural drawing. Therefore, they face more problems in the construction of any kind of building. Guys, you can see clearly. So the lapping is also wrong. So this is not the proper way to provide the lapping length. First of all, they should know where is the best place to provide lapping length. Now guys, you can see, look here, to the distance of L by four, they should provide bent up bar, or crank bar. Or you can say, nowadays we are providing extra steel rods to the distance of L by four. But unfortunately, you can see, guys, the lapping is here from one side of the beam about six inches. On other side, you can see this is about more than three feet. Sorry, uh, four feet. Guys, you can see clearly. Look here, guys. This is also the lapping. Actually, for commercial building, in the construction of slab, we should provide double mesh. Unfortunately, I don't know why these people are wasting their money as well as their time. Look here, guys. Where you can see the beam, on the top of the beam, you will find the lapping length. Look here, guys. If you see it's stirrup spacing, stirrup spacing is also wrong, which is about seven to eight inches. Look here, guys. This is the lapping, which is five feet. On each side, we have 2.5 feet lapping. Now, guys, you can see. So this is the lapping. Here the spacing of main bars, distribution bars, uh, distribution and main bars spacing is 6 by 6 inches. On the other side we have more than 7 inches, about 7 to 8 inches, but here it is 6 by 6 inches. Actually why the people are making mistakes? That's why because they don't follow the structural drawing, they don't know what is structural drawing, what is side, super, uh, what is side supervisor. So these people just complete their project by uh, laborers or steel fixer are their structural designer. So therefore, you will see these kind of mistakes. So this is the junction between beam and column. If you see, they did not provide any extra steel rods in the junction between beam and column where, uh, where we have maximum shear stresses. Look here, guys. At the middle of the slab, they also provided extra steel, uh, they provided uh, the lapping length, where we have maximum bending moment. 
as you can see. For proper way, you should follow the structural drawing. You should have a site supervisor to give you tips during construction of beam, column, slab, because uh, steel structure is very important for building. Hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.